Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Coffee and Cards with Michelle. My name's Michelle Zanovich, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Every morning at 8 o'clock and on Saturdays at 9, I come and start our day with a little crafting and creativity. Today and all week, we are working with this lovely kit. This is the all-inclusive Simply Citrus card kit. And yesterday I showed you how to make one card using the instructions that come in the kit. And then we stepped it up a notch. Now today's no exception. Today, if you remember, every Tuesday is Casing Tuesday. I'm part of the Casing Tuesday Facebook group and we case a card out of the catalog. So we're going to case a card using the all-inclusive kit instructions. We're going to make a card just like the instructions tell us to, and then we're going to turn it into something completely different using the sketch that's on the Simply or Casing Tuesday Facebook page. That sketch can be found over on my blog a little bit later this morning at www.makingmemorieswithmichelle.com. Give me just a second. I'm going to run over to my other table and grab my glasses, okay? Oh, much better. Okay, so for today, we're using this card base. This is the one that comes right out of the kit. Um, it's garden green, and I love this, like, stripey, like, almost watercolor stripe. It's very cool. And I'm going to take my bone folder here, and I'm going to just give it a nice crease so it stays closed. Okay? And... I love the citrus. I'm totally digging that citrus. Okay, so what we're going to do is take these little orange blossom um, stamps and the Knight of Navy, because remember, Knight of Navy, oh, goodness gracious, comes in the kit, right? And these are photopolymer stamps, so I'm going to be stamping using my stamp and pierce mat. Good morning, Kathy. It's great to see you. I've not seen everybody's comments this morning, just a few. I'm so short, it's really hard for me to read um, or see my, my camera screen. Okay, so three sets of little dots. Oh, and while I have that open, I'm going to stamp my sentiment too. The sentiment we're using today, again, comes from the Simply Citrus card kit. And this one just says, way to go. Everybody needs a little encouragement these days. Or not just these days, right? Any day, it's good to encourage people. All right. I have some team members that advanced this month. And this might just be the card to send them as a special thank you. All right. So, way to go. Oh, here it is. I'm like, where did it go? All right, I have a piece of Knight of Navy. Remember that little strip from our kit? I'm going to move this out of the way. It's really hard to see on that stamp and pierce mount. Okay, and then... Let's see. I'm trying to decide what adhesive I want. Okay, sorry about that. People should know not to call me during my Facebook Live. All right. Oh, my dimensionals. Oh, these aren't the ones that came in the kit. That's why it's so small. <laughs> I've used these. Let's see, where are those? Right here in front of me. Okay, and you see I'm offsetting it. It's just gonna hold that little Knight of Navy banner just a little bit more securely. Let's see, I think this is offset a little ways, just like that. And I want that to sit up off of my card. If I put it down, it looks kind of flat, so let's pop it up just a little bit. 
That's why we've got all these dimensionals this time, everyone. I'm loving it. Okay, just offset it a little bit. That's one thing my sister, I told you a couple weeks ago, she's moving to Seattle. That is one thing I'm really going to miss. You know, they live in San Diego right now and the orange blossoms and all of the fruit stands. Now, don't get me wrong. I love the produce in Washington. I grew up in Washington, so I miss all of the raspberries and the blackberries and just can't be beat. But she's leaving avocado country. <laughs> That's going to be kind of hard. Okay, so in this kit, I have the um, this really pretty Calypso Coral variegated Baker's Twine. Okay, and I'm just going to tie a bow here. Pretty loose. My son the other day was saying... Oh, with Aunt Tiss moving, he's really going to miss the San Diego Zoo because we've gone there since he was a little boy. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to miss the zoo, but I'm really, really, really going to miss the Mexican food. <laughs> I used to go get my fix of Mexican food every time I'd go visit. At all, That's all I'd want to eat. But it'll be all right. We all make transitions, right? Okay, so I'm just going to stick this right down here. Way to go. Trim that up a little bit. Okay, so this is directly out of the kit. Okay, this is the instructions. We made it just like the kit said. Actually, you know, we could take some of these little little guys, these little like orange blossom embellishments. Oh, go away. Okay, um, we could just put them on here. Rule of three. So there's three, and that's really pretty, okay? I really like it. I probably would not have thought to put it on a green, garden green background, because that's pretty dark, but the stripes really lighten it up. I think it's nice. Let's see what we can do with the Casing Tuesday sketch. Now for this card, I'm using these same three elements, okay? So the citrus element, with the same banner and the same label, okay? But this time, I'm bringing in this Mango Melody card, card base, okay? Give it a little squish there. That's a technical term, you can squish it. All right, so that's gonna go on there. It's gonna brighten it up, but we're going to add one more layer. I'm going to take this envelope Okay, I really like this envelope, but I'm gonna cut it apart. And to do that, I've got my Stampin' Trimmer out, and I'm just going to cut, let's see, let's do it this way. Okay, what I really wanna do is just open this up. like so, okay? I know, look at, now we have designer series paper, all right? Don't get me wrong, I totally love these envelopes. But sometimes, in the name of art, you have to make a few sacrifices, all right? Okay, so now what I wanna do 
is cut this down to two and a half. by four and a quarter. I think that's right. Give me just a minute. I'm gonna make sure. You know what? I'm gonna leave that. I think I'm gonna leave that. I am. Huh, look at that. All right, so the measurement there, I got it to be right at five and a quarter, okay? so. Five and a quarter. So this is going to go on my card like so. Huh. <sighs> Take a deep breath. The adhesive has to be around here somewhere. <sighs> I knew I'd find it. I was watching someone else's YouTube video the other day and they did the same thing. And I'm like, okay, I don't feel so bad. Okay, and I'm just going to put that down and hope it's as straight as it can go. You can give it a little press with your bone folder. Okay, now we're gonna do the same little thing over here. Oh yeah, this is gonna be spectacular. Don't you love it when a plan comes together? I mean, seriously. Move that up out of the way. We have a little way to go here. Stamp that. Is that a fun font? I mean, that is very cool. I love the cursive fonts. They make me happy. Okay. Add a little bit there, just so I can pick that up. Okay. Big sheet of dimensionals. What goes missing? craft table weren't white. Maybe that would be more helpful. Okay. And again, just adding dimensionals. Oh, I love these things. Okay. Do you sing to yourself? And let's take some of this baker's twine, wrap it three times, and see what we can do with this. Okay, and just kind of layer it. It's a little different than what I planned, but that'll be all right. And then you can bring it back around. Nope, never mind. I don't like that. Okay, let's see. I really like these though.
I think I put that a little higher than I did last time, but that's so. Oh, I dropped one. The dog will probably find it later. I think the things around my house right now are what's in your mouth and why is that wet? Okay. So, two cards using the same basic sketch. This one we kind of recreated with the Casing Tuesday sketch that's out there, loosely interpreted, but pretty, pretty similar. And then this one here is the one that's made out of the kit instructions. Let me know which one you like best, whether it's the green one or the mango one. Leave me a comment below, let me know. And if you'd like to play along with the Casing Tuesday group, that sketch can be found over either on the Casing Tuesday Facebook page or on my blog at www.makingmemorieswithmichelle.com. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. Happy crafting, bye-bye.